Right now, it takes about 35 to 40 minutes to go from Marine Drive to the start of the Bandra Whirly Sea Link, that is the Whirly Sea Face site. But once the much-awaited first phase of the Mumbai Coastal Road project kicks off, it'll take 10 minutes. This crucial infrastructure project is set to open soon. Initially, the road will only be open from Monday to Friday from 8am to 8pm and traffic will only be allowed the southbound way from Worli till Marine Drive. This is because the entire first phase of the project is not complete yet. Work will continue even after the road opens and it's expected to be done by May 2024. Once Phase 1 is complete, it's expected to relieve chronic congestion in South Mumbai, especially during peak hours. It will divert traffic from the congested inland roads and importantly will be toll-free. The entire project is expected to be ready by 2025. The Coastal Road is a transformative project that will declutter travel on Mumbai's western line. Not just in terms of travel, it will also transform the city's western coastline visually. Why is this project so important and what's the route map and the current status? Let's find out. When the Western Railway line was conceived 150 years ago, it was mocked as a waste of money. Now it's a lifeline for Mumbaikers carrying over 35 lakh commuters daily. As the commercialization of Mumbai continued, the western suburbs saw a huge influx of people and businesses and over time became crowded. Traffic increased to a huge extent and there was a need to expand the Western Express Highway. However, this could not be done since there was already a huge amount of development in that area. Hence came the idea for a coastal road to give an alternative north-south trunk route and develop recreational open spaces and greenery. The Coastal Road project is the BMC's most expensive project till date. The first phase of the project costs about 13,000 crore rupees. The total length of the project is 29.2 kilometers, which has two phases. The first one is the portion from Princess Street flyover on Marine Drive till the southern portion of the Bandra Worli ceiling. This is about 10 kilometers. The second phase is nearly double, stretching all the way from Bandra to Kandivili. Once the whole project is complete, it's expected to reduce travel time along this stretch from 2 hours to 40 minutes. The speed limit is expected to be 80 km per hour. Now, the first phase of the project is divided into three packages. Package 1 is from Priyadarshini Park to Baroda Palace, which is a 3.82 km stretch. The second one is from Baroda Palace to the whirly end of the Sea Link, which is 2.23 km. And the fourth one is from Princess Street flyover to Priyadarshini Park, which is 3.9 km. One of the major highlights of this phase are the 2 km long twin tunnels under the Arabian Sea, the first such structure in India. These tunnels will feature six crosswalks, four for pedestrians and two for motorists. These tunnels will start near Girgaon Chopati and end at Priyadarshini. The tunnels use the Sakardo ventilation system which has been used for the first time in India. It provides longitudinal airflow inside the tunnels. The project also includes a 4.35 km road on reclaimed land and 2.19 km of bridges. Around 90 hectares of land will be reclaimed for the project, of which 70 will be an open area for cycle tracks, the seaside promenade and recreational spaces. 50 hectares of this is green spaces, a rarity in Mumbai. There will be three interchanges at important locations. The first one is Amerson's Garden along Napancy Road. The second is Lotus Jetty at Haji Ali. And the third is the Bindu Madhav Thakre Chowk in Worli. The Haji Ali interchange is key since it has a multi-level structure. It allows accessibility to the coastal road from many directions. The road has eight lanes on the surface and six in the tunnel. There will be a dedicated lane for buses. There will also be an underground parking facilities at four locations, which has a capacity of 1,800 vehicles. There will be 20 underpasses for pedestrians, which will give them access to the seaside promenade. While the much-famed promenade at Marine Drive right now is 3.25 kilometers long and 10 meters wide, the coastal road promenade will be 7.5 kilometers long and 20 meters wide. Hence the visual transformation. While this project will be an infrastructural boon to the city, there have been concerns about the impact that it will have on the environment which has been a subject of huge debate. 
the impact of reclaimed land, the impact on the fishing community and the impact on intertribal biodiversity have been flagged before. To enhance the biodiversity, the National Institute of Oceanography along with the Mangrove Foundation of Maharashtra has installed five artificial reefs at some locations along the seawall of the project. The number of reefs which will help growth of intertidal organisms will be increased if it shows positive results. All said and done, it's obvious why the people of Mumbai can't wait for the coastal road to become operational.